Okay, I am now at the bottom of page 674. We're going to learn what polynomials are. Well, a polynomial can be a monomial, or it can be the sum of monomials. Remember, you learned what a monomial was on page 673. Polynomials are classified by the number of terms that they contain. So a monomial, mono means one, so a monomial has one term. A binomial, because bi means two. Uh, a binomial has two terms, a trinomial has three terms, etc. Okay, so if they give you this, notice that, remember that terms are separated by plus or minus. Um, so there's one term, there's a second term. So this has two terms, therefore this one is considered a binomial. Okay, so remember polynomials is just a general term. Polynomials can be monomials, binomials, trinomials, etc. Okay, and then polynomials are going to be classified by their degree. Well, what do I mean by that? The degree of a polynomial is the greatest value among the sums of the exponents on the variables in each term. I'll show you what I mean. The binomial that they just mentioned, x or excuse me, eight xy squared minus 5x to the third y to the third z, there are two terms. Here's one term, here's the other term. Remember terms are separated by plus or minus. The variables in the first term are x and y. The exponent on 1, on x is 1, the exponent on y is 2. The number 8 is not a variable, so it does not have a degree, or its degree is 0. Okay, So the degree of the first term 8xy squared is 0 because there's no degree on the 8. The x is raised to the first power, so it's 1. The y is raised to the second power, so it's a 2. Add all of that together, and the degree of that first term is 3. Let's look at the second term. Okay, again, a number is not going to have a degree, so that the 5's degree is 0. Um, x is raised to the third, so its degree is 3. Uh, y is raised to the third, so it's a 3. Z is raised to the first, because remember, if you have a variable and you don't see an exponent, it's raised to the first power. So add all of that together, and the degree of the second term is 7. Therefore, 8xy squared minus 5x to the third y to the third z, this binomial is a seventh degree binomial. Why? Because 7 is the highest degree of any of the terms in the polynomial, in this case a binomial. Okay. All right, so let's see um, about doing a few as an example. All right, I'm now on page 675. So you have 7x squared minus 5x to the third y to the third. Find the degree of each term. First of all, you have two terms. You have 7x squared, and you have negative 5x to the third y to the third. So those are your two terms. Find the degree by adding the exponents of the variables in that term. The greatest degree is the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so over here, I just have a variable of x and it's raised to the second power, so this is a second degree term. Over here, I have x to the third and y to the third. Three and three, that is six. So this is a sixth degree term, okay? Um, remember that numbers have a degree of zero. So this polynomial expression, which is also, by the way, a binomial, this polynomial has a degree of 6 because you go with the term that has the highest degree. Okay, It's a binomial because there are two terms. Are binomials considered polynomials? Yes. Okay, uh, on example B, you have 3 squared plus 2 into the third plus 8 in. All right, be careful here. 3 squared is really just 9. So 3 squared has a degree of 0, because that's really just a number, it's 9. 2n to the third has a degree of 3, 8n has a degree of 1. 
and there are one, two, three terms. That's why it is a trinomial. Okay, this is a third degree trinomial because you go with the degree on the uh, highest term. Okay, what is the degree of 5x to the 0, y to the 0 plus 5? Well, the degree, all of this. 5's degree is 0, x's degree is 0, y's degree is 0, and this 5 has a degree of 0 also because you don't have any variables raised to anything except for 0. So the degree of this whole binomial is 0. Number 4. Is 5x to the 0, y to the 0 0.5 plus 5 a polynomial? No, it is not. Why? Because you have a variable raised, I'll just say to a non-whole number. And remember, that is not considered a monomial if you do that. All right, here's a couple of things to practice. Classify each polynomial by its degree and the number of terms. Well, here, this is a trinomial because it has three terms. Highest degree, this is uh, a fourth degree term, one and two. This is a third degree term, this is a second degree term. So this trinomial is a fourth degree trinomial because you go with the largest degree. Eight a b squared minus 3 a squared b, two terms, so this is a binomial. The degree on this first term, a raised to the first, b raised to the second for a total of 3, a raised to the second, b raised to the first for a total of 3, highest degree is 3, so it's a third degree binomial. Both of those qualify as polynomials, because remember polynomials is a more general term. Okay.